Hello, I'm Joshua Morrison, Investment Analyst here at True Potential. US President Donald Trump delivered his annual State of the Union address to the joint sessions of Congress this past week. The State of the Union happens at the beginning of each calendar year in office and typically includes an update on budgets and economic performance. Trump used his speech to claim success in the economy, boasting that an economic miracle is taking place in the United States. On employment, he took credit for creating 5.3 million new jobs and adding 600,000 new manufacturing positions since he won the election. He boasted that the US economy is growing twice as fast today as when he took office, with more people working now than any time in US history. Indeed, just last week, it was announced that the US added another 304,000 jobs in January. Finally, he also alluded to the fact that wages are rising at the fastest pace in decades. Trump attributed cutting taxes and regulations to the overall economy's success. China was also a key issue. To build on our incredible economic success, he said, one priority is paramount, reversing decades of calamitous trade policies. As always with Trump, there is both vocal criticism and strong approval of his claims. Divided political factions and the media are split, with fact-checkers disputing some of the context around Trump's economic claims. As you may expect from Trump, several of these statements have been slightly exaggerated. In relation to employment figures, the total number is close to 4.9 million rather than 5.3, whilst manufacturing jobs are around 450,000. Despite this slight delineation from the truth, the overall unemployment rate is at the lowest level since 1969. Moreover, in relation to economic and wage growth, both of these figures were also seemingly exaggerated, but still remain in the upper quartile compared to historic data. Despite these minor fabrications, what this does mean is that the economic fundamentals of the US look very promising. And although the fiscal stimulus that was introduced early in 2018 will begin to wear off, the economy is poised to perform well in 2019. Trump's more positive approach to China also bodes well for investors, as the ongoing trade dispute has dragged on global market performance in 2018. With 2019 yielding positive returns for the US markets, it should quell the fears investors had coming after 2018. Further, Trump referenced in his speech that talks with China are ongoing. We are now working on a new trade deal, he said, but it must include structural change to end unfair trade practices, reduce our chronic trade deficit and protect American jobs. Whilst you may argue that his approach to politics is questionable, it appears that in reference to the economy and ongoing trade war, he is sticking to his rhetoric, which will hopefully yield positive results for the US, China and global growth as a whole.